So I told that filthy f to get up out my face before I whoop his monkey ass back to the Stone Age. I'm gonna show you how to cover up some nasty, naughty language using Power Director. Let's clean up some audio. I have a clip of a filthy mouthed man using some bad language on a timeline. Now I want to censor the bad words to keep things family friendly. First thing that you wanna do is stretch out your timeline so that we can see more frames and help us locate the curse words. So I'm gonna place my cursor over the time section of the timeline, hold down my left mouse, and I'm gonna drag this out. You may need to listen to the clip to find the bad words, but I already know where the bad words are, and I don't want YouTube messing up my vibe, so I'm not gonna play this video. But I am gonna place my playhead wherever the curse word is, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do Control T to split that. Then I need to place my cursor after the curse word is said. And I can do control T on my keyboard again. If there are more curse words that you need to find, just continue this process. Now that we've located all of the bad words, we want to mute those words. So you want to left click on the first clip. Move your cursor down until it's over the white volume line and you should see a line with two arrows. Hold down your left mouse button and then drag that down and it will mute that clip. Place your cursor over any other words that you wanna mute out and do the same thing. Now we wanna add a beep sound where the swear words are at. So we're gonna make sure that we're on the media room then we're going to go to sound clips. We're going to go to miscellaneous. And here we're going to use beep three. So I'm going to left click with my mouse and drag this down to where I want the beeping sound to be right under one of the curse words that I muted. Then I'm going to place my cursor at the end until I see these two arrows pointed in opposite directions. Hold down my left mouse and I'm going to trim this to be the exact same length as the part that I muted. Then I'm gonna go ahead and place the beeping sound on any other curse words that were said and trimming it as well. Next, we wanna cover the speaker's mouth so people can't read his filthy lips. So you wanna move your playhead to a position where the mouth is open. And we're gonna to go to the effects room And we're gonna to go to the style effect. And we're gonna go ahead and go to blur. We're gonna hold on our left mouse and we're gonna drag the blur effect on top of the clip where he was saying a bad word. Now right now it blurs out the whole screen so we need to make some adjustments. So we're gonna click on effect. And we're gonna to go to math type. We're gonna change it to a circle. We're gonna change our feather radius. We're gonna blow that all the way up to 200. And then for mask area, we're gonna click on modify. And we're gonna use these nodes, place our cursor over a node, hold down your left mouth button, and you can resize the blur effect. And if you think you like where it's at, you can go ahead and click on okay. And once you have it like you like it, you can go ahead and right click on the clip that already has the blur. You can go to edit clip keyframe and you can go down to copy keyframe attributes. That makes it copy the effect and the position of the effect. Then you can left click on the next bad word that you need to go ahead and cover up his mouth. Right click, go to edit clip, keyframe and then go to paste keyframe attributes and it will go ahead and give you a message that says, Hey, are you sure you want to do this? Click on okay. And then you can go ahead and play this back. So I told that filthy to get up out my face before I whoop his monkey back to the stone age. This audio is clean. 
There are times when you might want to decrease the volume instead of muting the volume. If you want to learn how to raise and lower music or gameplay volume while you're speaking, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to smash my cartoon face to subscribe, hit me up with your comments, and drop me a like down below.